Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this playlist, we will discuss about link list in detail. But before starting with the link list, you first need to understand what is the use of this arrow operator. So whenever you want to learn about the arrow operator, first you need to understand the difference between the dot operator and arrow operator. So in this video, we will discuss about the difference between the dot operator and arrow operator. So let me give you the practical example for the same. So first of all, see, I have one structure and that is type def struct student and the name of this structure user defined data type is student and I have one member that is roll number. Now I have one main method that is integer main. Now I want to access the member of this structure. So I'm just declaring the variable here that is a student s1. Now you can access directly the member using the dot operator. So you can write s1 dot roll number is equal to for example 101 and you can print here that is for example printf roll number is equal to percentage d and you can print the s1 dot roll number. You can simply build and run this particular application. And you will get the output that is roll number is equal to 101. So you can say that the dot operator is used to normally access the member of the structure or union. But if my variable is declared as a pointer, for example, I have one more variable that is a student pointer S2. Now I need to allocate the memory to this S2 variable. So definitely I need to allocate the memory using malloc function. So I'm just casting here into the student pointer and I'm calling the function that is malloc and here you can write size of that is student. Definitely I need to include the library that is a has include stdlib.edge. Now memory is allocated to this s2 variable but we cannot access directly the member of the structure. So I cannot write directly here s2.reno is equal to 102 and if I am accessing like this I will get an error. Suppose if you build and run you will get an error over here. Why? Because to access the member of the structure using pointer variable you need to use the arrow operator over here. So instead of this dot you can simply write arrow over here. And now you can simply print this that is printf roll number is equal to percentage D and you can access using the S2 arrow roll number. So you can say that this is S2 arrow roll number. So this arrow operator is used to access the member of the structure or union using the pointer. So using this pointer variable you can access this. You can simply write lesson over here and you can build and run and you will get the output. That is roll number is equal to 101 and roll number is equal to 102. So in this video I just explained the difference between the dot operator and arrow operator. So you can say that the dot operator is used to normally access the member of the structure or union. But arrow operator is used to access the member of the structure or union using the pointer. So whenever you want to access using the pointer variable you can use the arrow. So that's it from my side. In the next video, we will discuss about how to create the list.